repentance and the presence of the Lord. Acts 3.19, I get that from it. It says, Repent you therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. See, when we sins our iniquities, Isaiah 59.2 says, But your iniquities have separated between you and your God and your sins have hidden his face from you that he will not hear. So if we've got sin in our life, whether we've never been saved or if we are saved, it's important to keep a repentive heart and repent and confess those sins because when we confess them, he's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. David was a man after God's own heart, the Bible, but he was not perfect. In fact, one time he committed adultery and then had her husband sent to the front of the line so she would be killed. So he was guilty not only of adultery, but of murder. And when he was confronted, he wrote... Psalms 51 and Psalms 32, two powerful psalms. So God don't give up on failures if you'll keep a repentive heart and a humble heart. He said in uh, uh, Psalms 51, verse 10 and 11, he says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy, your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Now, the presence of the Lord is a mighty, holy place. Unless we repent, it's we, we can't get into this prayer. But when we repent, confess our sins, the blood of Jesus cleanses us. Psalm 68, 8 says, The earth shook, the heavens also dropped at the presence of God. Even Sinai itself was moved at the presence of God, the God of Israel. Hallelujah. The presence of God is powerful. In Isaiah 6, King Uzziah, I mean the year King Uzziah died, he says, I saw the Lord, and he was high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. And then he heard the seraphim singing, holy, holy, holy. And he says, I'm unworthy, a man of unclean lips, because I dwell among unclean people. But then one of the seraphims uh, took a live coal in his hand, and he laid it upon my mouth. This touched his lips, and his iniquity is taken away, and your sin purged. And that's the way it is. We repent of our sins and put our faith in Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus washes away our sins and our, our sin. We can go into his presence. Then we can be in Psalms 95 to let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with psalms. Psalms 102 says, Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. But those that reject Jesus, you know, many people come in the 11th hour. Thank God they finally come in right before they die. Many evil can evil. And my grandpa is 60 years old and others. So don't ever give up on your loved ones. And if you're not come to the Lord, I don't care how old you are, repent, come to Jesus experience that time of refreshing and get enjoy the sweet loving presence of the lord jesus loves you he loves the worst sinner the murderer the adulterer the homosexual the liar the thief he loves you he says repent come to me and all you that we're in heaven laden and i'll give you rest but the bible warns us those some never come and those that come Second Thessalonians 1, many warnings are in the Bible. Here's one, it says, In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God, and they, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power. John 3.36 warns us, He that believes on the Son, Jesus, has everlasting life. And he that believes not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. He'll be with, punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord. Never to feel that sweet Holy Spirit. If you felt it, you know what I mean. Some of you never felt it. You can. By faith, repent of your sins and put your trust in Jesus Christ. And you can exp confess every sin to Him. Forsake it all. Just run to Him. His arms is open wide of mercy. And Jesus said, All that are mine the Father gives to me, and Him that come me, I no wise cast out. And then we can say, 
Get this promise in Hebrews. The blood, about the blood of Jesus washes our sins away. It says, For Christ is not entered to the holy place made with hands, which are figures of the truth, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. Jesus appears in the presence of God for us to intercede for us. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of men. See, Jesus come and took a punishment for our sins so we could put our faith. He was a pure, spotless lamb. We put our trust in him. We have the righteousness of God so that we shall appear the second time. He shall appear the second time without sin to salvation. Now here's what we should do. If you're saved, if you're not, it says, what should we keep doing? Keep yourselves in the love of God, Jude 21, 24, looking for mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now to him that is able to present you faultless before the presence of the glory with exceeding joy. He's able to present us faultless with exceeding joy before the Father. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of His holiness. Though that know the name of Jesus, let us depart from iniquity. The soul's paradox, God is so holy, it makes you fear Him, but He's so merciful, it makes you run to Him. Psalm 1611 gives us a wonderful promise. You will show me the path of life in your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures evermore. So I just want to tell you, encourage you, repent of your sins. Be ref if you got sin in your life, confess it. Get that refreshing by the presence of the Lord. It's a wonderful thing. Jesus is pleading with all of us to the day we die. And the bride and the spirit of the bride say, Come, let him that hears say, Come. Let him that is thirsty let you come. Whosoever will, let him take the water of life free. Jesus will give you the water of life where you'll never thirst again. He wants to give you eternal life. He loves you so much. I don't care who you are. If you'll just swallow your pride and say, Lord, I've sinned. You can pray with me right now. Lord, I've sinned. Forgive me of all my sins, Lord. Oh, Jesus, save me, Lord. Come into my heart. I confess Jesus is Lord, and I believe in my heart God has raised him from the dead. Take control of my life from this day forward. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'll close with this. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. What a wonderful promise. God bless you.